Hello, how are you everyone? In this video we are going to see figures of speech used in English literature uh, which are very useful when creating a new text. Um, it allows you to play with the English language and we're going to see basically the main figures of speech. Uh, I think there are like six or seven. We're going to start with the simil. The simil figure of speech is basically uh, comparing two different things using like or as. For example, her eyes are as dark as the night, comparing the uh, eyes color with the darkness of the night. Um, his dog is uh, as big as my dog, for example. Next figure of speech is the metaphor. Metaphor is very used in every language and it's basically it's a different way of explaining something. Um, so, for example, his life was quite a journey. He lived through a lot of things, so his life was like a journey. It's comparing the life of a person with a journey. Personification. This figure of speech is when we give human attribution to objects or animals. So, the walls of his house were strong and quiet, or his room seemed to be quiet and strong, or something like this. Human attributions for um, objects. The next one is an exclamatory figure of speech and it's the apostrophe. Right? Apostrophes are like sudden breaks from the sentence in order to redirect our sentence to somebody else. So it's like an exclamatory sudden break. Pancakes. How I love these sweet delicious dessert. Mums. How I wish I was close to my mum right now. The metonymy is the next one. So a metonymy is when we uh, switch one word for something else that means something similar. It's not exactly the same, but it could be a synonym. That's a, a metonymy. And for example, instead of saying... Um, the United States are sending help for countries in Africa. We would say Washington is sending helps, help for countries in Africa. We're using the capital. Or um, the United Kingdom has left the European Union. We would say London has left the European Union, for example. Next figure of speech is onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia are uh, very, very used, are very common, and they refer to the sounds produced by anything uh, around us. So, boom for something very heavy falling on the floor, splash for water, bang for hitting something. Those are onomatopoeias. The next figure of speech is synecdoche. Synecdoche is when you talk about something. Uh, but you just use part of it. You describe just a part of it instead of talking about the whole thing. So instead of asking you, do you like cars? I will tell you. So do you like the wheels? Of course, wheels are just a part of the car. And the last one would be the assonance. The assonance is when we repeat the same vowel or group of vowels uh, within the same sentence. So the morning rain was wet and set on the ground. Wet, set. Okay, so this is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed um, learning figures of speech in English, and I'm sure you'll do great at your writings from now on. Uh, I'll drop you some documents uh, as usual, and see you very, very soon with new videos. Take a lot of care. Bye-bye.